guys, so again with the background, I know it's a little different, a little switching it up a little bit. I like to utilize my new lighting, so I may switch it to my bedroom. I don't know. I have to rearrange some things in there in order to put these lights in there, but um, let me know what you think. Anyway, I'm going to do the Winterlicious tag. I do love winter tags. They're my favorite out of all tags. And I was tagged by Sarah Nicole Bear, which I'll have her channel listed down below. She's amazing. I just did a swap with her. And um, that video will be up soon, as soon as she receives her package. She's from Canada. Lovely, lovely girl. Amazing video. So definitely check out her channel. Um, but she tagged me to do this, and I love the questions. It was created by MacBarbie07. Love her, too. And let's get started. Number one, uh, favorite winter nail polish. I chose three because I can't narrow it down. I haven't painted my nails in probably six months. I don't even know if that's right. It's been a long time. I've been biting my nails like crazy um, because of all the stress in my life and everything. Nails are just not a priority. But on my toenails, um, this is what I do all year round. Um, these aren't really specific to winter. They're my favorite nail polishes of all time. So basic black. I wear black nail polish all the time. This is Liquid Leather by China Glaze, which is my favorite one. China Glaze makes the best nail polishes if you have small fingernails. Um, OPIs are great, but they have a really large fat brush, and for my fingernails, they just don't work really that well. Um, I manage because of the colors and everything I love, but anyway, Liquid Leather is a really good one. And then I love the Almost Black. You can't really tell if it's black or if it's a different color in the sun. Um, my two favorites for that are OPI, Suzy Skis in the Pyrenees, which is like a dark blue, um, nearly, it's like a grayish bluish black. And then this one is I Break for Manicures, which is amazing. It's a deep um, purpley color, like a wine berry shade, which are my all-time favorite colors, are the wine um, colors that are almost black. All-time favorites ever, just not just for the holidays, but ever. Number two, favorite winter lip product. I don't wear lip products on an everyday basis. I don't like them. I don't like lip gloss. I don't like lipstick really. I've been trying to get into it and I have a little, but other than filming, I don't wear it on a regular basis. So lip balm is my savior. I have really dry skin, especially in the winter. This is something I got in a swap from Sarah and um, I am obsessed with this stuff. It's the CO Bigelow Rose Solve. You can use this on cuticles, elbows, dry skin, anywhere. And it's so amazing. I've been using it on my lips every night. It looks amazing. It smells good. I love this stuff. This is amazing. So thank you, Sarah, for giving me that because I'm obsessed. Um, number three, most worn, well, most worn winter clothing piece. That's really easy because I wear this every single day. It's my Zara faux leather jacket. It honestly looks so amazing. I'm going to put it on and show you. It looks so amazing when it's like zipped all the way up. That's my favorite way to wear it. Um, but I think a leather jacket is just a staple for everybody. No matter what your style is, really, I think a faux leather jacket just looks amazing. Look at that. Amazing. And I love it has pockets. I love it so much. So this is definitely my most worn piece. Um, I typically don't buy new leather jackets all the time. I got this over the summer, actually, at Zara when I went to San Francisco um, because I don't have a Zara near me. And I was like, it's 100 degrees where I live, but I'm going to get a Zara leather jacket for the winter. No regrets at all. I love that piece. Number four, most worn winter accessory. Probably beanies. I love beanies so much. I think they're so versatile. They go with everything, especially if you have different colors. I just love them. They're warm. I walk to work and school and everything, so I have to stay warm when I'm walking. And these help with that, so... Um, that's probably my most worn winter accessory. Favorite winter scent slash candle. This year, last year it was Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which I still love, still burning, I love it. Um, but this year, Frosted Gingerbread. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It was actually called just Gingerbread last year and I was obsessed with it, but not as much as I am this year. I have so many backups of this, it's not even funny because it is so amazing. I went Black Friday shopping and got two for 20. Oh, it's so good. I love it. So definitely check this out. It's more of a foodie smell. So if you're not into the foodie type, you know, cupcake, that kind of stuff, probably not for you. It's not like 100% gingerbread. It's not like you're baking gingerbread. 
It has other notes in it that's not just food smell, but it's amazing. I love it. It makes your house smell so good and it fills up the whole house. This is one candle that burns really nicely. Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, favorite winter beverage, eggnog. I mean, I think that's pretty typical. Not a lot of people like eggnog, I think. I don't know. No one that I know likes eggnog, um, really. There's a few people, but eggnog is amazing. I love it. I could drink it all day long and just get fat on it because it's so bad for you, but eggnog. Um, that and a Christmas movie, and I'm good to go. Um, All-time favorite Christmas movie. Oh, look at that. Or holiday movie if you don't celebrate Christmas, but mine is a Christmas movie. The Santa Claus, the best movie ever. If I, it's definitely my top 10 all time, probably top five all time favorite movies, hands down over any genre for anything, it's in my top five with the ring and all those, you know? So I love this movie so much. It's so sentimental to me and there's just something about it. I watch it like at least 15 times during the holiday season. But what's weird is I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to soon, probably this week, some night. Um, I definitely need to watch it, but it's an amazing Christmas movie. It's I've been watching it since I was like five. I don't even know when did this come out. Whenever it came out is basically when I started watching it um, with my dad. And now I get all the adult humor. The second and third one aren't as good because the adult humor kind of went away and they stopped doing that. So that kind of sucks. They just had it rated G instead of PG. So that was kind of a downer, but I love that movie so much. A favorite Christmas holiday song, Carol of the Bells is my all-time favorite song. Um, any version, but specifically I really like uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra version. That's amazing, um, but that is the best song. And all the words, I can sing it right now, but I'm not going to because you don't want to hear me sing. Trust me. Favorite holiday food. <coughs> I had to get that out. I'm sorry. I'm still getting over this cough. Favorite holiday food slash treat. Um... Any sweets at all, I would eat. Like, I am not picky whatsoever when it comes to holiday treats, any kind of food. I mean, pumpkin pie, that's kind of more of a Thanksgiving thing. But honestly, any sugar. And it could be straight sugar. I'll just eat it. I mean, I'm not picky, so I don't really have a favorite holiday treat. Uh, what is your favorite Christmas decoration this year? This one was hard. I didn't really decorate that much. I have some lights in the window and some garland with some lights and, you know, some small things here and there. I have two trees on my nightstands right now on my bed that have lights on them that I made with Dollar Tree stuff that I love. So probably those, but also I pulled these from my kitchen. I love these too. These are all Dollar Tree except the vase is from Beverly's. I normally keep these flowers in it during the regular year. And I love these ones. These are from Beverly's. Um, but in, I saw these at Dollar Tree. I'm like, that would make a really cute like collection of flowers, a little bouquet to put in the kitchen. So it kind of just brightens my kitchen, makes it feel a little Christmassy in there. Um, and I also have the lights in the window in my kitchen. So I guess that uh, I'm not really big on the decorations this year. I did decorate a little bit, not too much. Uh, what is at the top of your Christmas list? <laughs> Um, a my or um, a coffee pot because mine was broken and I had to throw it away. So I have been surviving either without coffee or Starbucks every day, which gets so expensive. And I'm not a star. I have to have Starbucks every day kind of person. But without a coffee pot, I don't have coffee and it sucks. Um, so I mean, coffee pot for sure. A vacuum. I need a vacuum really bad, like a nice one. The one I have sucks up nothing. I got it from the dumpster out by my apartment. It was free. I've been using it. It's, you know, got me this far, but I need a vacuum really bad. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else? I really wanted the eight season, however many disc set of Desperate Housewives. Um, but I didn't ask for that from anybody, but that's amazing. I would, you know, totally love that. And I think I asked for a pair of shoes for my dad. I don't know. I don't remember what the shoes they were. They were from Urban Outfitters. But yeah, the normal adult vacuum coffee pot type thing. I feel so old. Um, turning 23 soon, and I feel like that's really old. I mean, it's not old, but I just... 23 seems like such a big number, and I haven't really done many other things different than when I was 20 so it's like three years have passed since I turned 20 and I haven't really done much I haven't graduated well I did graduate with a degree but not a bachelor's I'm totally getting off a tangent 
Um, number 12, last question, what are your plans for the holidays this year? Well, given that my situation is different now, I'm not with Tyler anymore. I always went to his parents' house and, well, we woke up first here and then we go to his parents and then his grandparents um, and do like kind of multiple Christmases and then sometime we would stop by my mom's, but that's not gonna happen this year. So I didn't wanna wake up on Christmas by myself in my apartment. So I asked my dad if I could go over to his place um, for Christmas so I can wake up there. Like old times, I used to do that all the time and spend Christmas with my dad. My dad and I bond over Christmas, just something that we both love and cherish. And so I think, you know, we'll both be really excited to be together on Christmas. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just really casual. And then probably Christmas day, um, I'll see my mom at some point to give her her gift. And yeah, I don't really do much for um, Christmas with my own family. I always did stuff with Tyler's family, so. But I'm so excited to go to my dad's for Christmas. I love going there for Christmas. So much fun. So that's basically the tag. Um, I'll think of, I think of some people, if they haven't already done it, to tag for this video. So check below, see if it's you. Otherwise, I invite all of you guys to do this video. It's really fun. And I'd love to see your answers. If you just want to answer a few of them in the comments, I'd love to hear that too. Um, especially like the candle and the nail polish stuff like that we can all share our favorites for the holidays um, again let me know about the lighting how it works for you if it's too much or too little or you just let me know so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon bye